now go back and look at all these verses and, and what, it, what comes out when you start thinking, when you plug in the word measurement, okay? Don't look for how it could be wrong. Look for how that could be the right way to understand this. Perversity is in his heart. He devises evil continually. He sows measurement. Hatred stirs up measurement, but love covers all sins. A brother offended is harder to win than a strong city, and measurements are like the bars of a castle. Cast out the scoffer, and measurement will leave. Yes, strife and reproach will cease. An angry man stirs up measurement, and a furious man abounds in transgression. I think that's amazingly insightful. So how do you translate this as a guy? Right? Because in verse 21 of chapter 26, you have this guy who is measuring everything mm. all the time. Now, self-justification should come right into play here, should it not, Lutherans? Shouldn't be outside that. It's very evident right there. Shouldn't have to say it. But how does Jesus talk about, like, don't be this guy? It's pretty clear. Judge not, lest ye be judged, he says. Like, it doesn't mean never make a decision about anything. It means don't be the measurement guy. You could maybe call this guy picky. He's, he's overly focused on the details. That's fair enough, you know. Uh, a picky man kindles strife. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, uh, and then, so here's the word I would use, though, if I did, like, the Jonathan Fisk New World Translation or whatever, um, uh, politicking. Mm. He, the politician is measuring every single word, every smile, every look. It's all give and take. It's all a game. So, you know, as charcoal is to burning coals and wood to fire, so is a political animal to kindle strife. Oh, that's, that's profound, I think, personally. And, and then, so what, what is the tailbearer? Well, it's the female version of a political animal. And trying to gain influence and power mm, with poison rather than with the direct attack. The guys, guys tend to direct attack, not in America. Guys act like girls in America. But, but guys tend to direct attack, right? And I'm not talking you know, art of war, Sun Tzu, faint and all this. No, no, I just mean like, you know, you're in a conversation. Guys direct attack, um, and girls are going to, you know, work around the edges. And that, you know, that could be to our benefit, frankly. Um, but it isn't when you do it in corners to destroy people's lives because you're, what? What? I don't want to accuse anyone of what they are. All I know is, like, these words don't bear well. For anybody who's spending a lot of time on the internet talking about other people, more than they're spending at least in the word themselves. If you're spending more time tearing down others with words that will pass away in the digital whirlwind, then you are building up your family with the actual Bible spoken in praise out loud. Then it's your house you're tearing down, not mine. 